Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with a little tutorial. So, as I mentioned before a couple of months ago, I partnered up with the company, the Heights Hosting um, Company, and basically what they do is, they give you the ability of uh, making your own radio station, okay? So, I've been playing with their site for the last couple of months, and I've been, you know, trying to figure out how I can make a tutorial so you guys can get started on your own, and, you know, basically start your own radio station it's not as hard as you think um, it is a, it's got a couple of technical things that you need to do but in general to start it's very very simple so I'm gonna be making a couple of videos um, I'm just gonna call this one part one of I don't know how many parts I'm gonna do but I'm gonna try to do as many parts as possible to get you guys started so right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna assume when you see this video now I'm gonna assume that you're already logged in I'm sorry, not like that. You already went to the website and you purchased a, a package, a program package, um, a radio package. And you haven't done this, it's very simple. You go to their site, it's called theheights.com. I'm gonna leave the link right here uh, on the screen and I'm gonna leave it in the description. And you basically, as you can see, they have you know the home, the features, partners, pricing, domains, contact, more and more, it just gives you more information. But what you wanna do is just click on the shop or sign sign up. Either one of these two um, buttons will take you there. So once you go there, it will bring you to this window here. So once you're logged in, I mean, I, again, this is the account that they gave me so I could play around with and it's one of the accounts that has everything that you need. But this is what it looks like. And here it says my services. And now what you have to, what you have to understand here is that um, once you sign up, they actually check every account manually because they want to avoid fraud they want to avoid you know credit card fraud and all kinds of things so you won't get um the act the account activated right away like you know two or three minutes it probably takes an hour or so but it will be activated and once it's activated then your account is ready so you should be receiving an email from them and it's going to have like their name the heights hosting.com or the heights um, hosting at gmail something like that and it will give you the instructions about how to log in to the to the server for you to get started. So right now I'm gonna assume that you guys got that email and that you're ready to go. Now the number one thing you have to do is first you have to verify your email once you get the email verification letter. If you don't verify your email, you will not get the confirmation. Number one. Number two, you gotta check your spam folder because sometimes um, if your email um, um, box doesn't not recognize the name it'll just throw it in your spam folder so make sure you check your spam folder for the email coming from the heights hosting let's go to the centova cast server now so we're going to go ahead and log into the server and i'm going to show you how simple that is again you could do it right through this window and all you have to do is hit on your product that you purchased in this case it's just a radio station some people purchase um uh names now on the website they give you an option of purchasing your own name let's say like DJ snuffleluff.com and what happens is with that name you do not get a hosting all you get is a redirection of that name to your to your actual radio station that's all if you want a hosting package I believe they have hosting package and all that stuff you don't need any of that just to run this radio station all you need is to buy the radio station um, package and you actually get your own link on their server for you to go and you know basically you could put that link anywhere you want if you already have a web a web server or a website that you have your radio station all you got to do is put the player on that website and that's it you don't need to get their hosting packages it's just something else that they offer so we're going to go ahead and log in and i'll show you how simple it is now go through this window my my products and services you just click testing product and here you got basically it'll tell you all the information about everything that you have in this case mine is called obviously a testing product and right here on the bottom, you see it says, um, log into the Centova server. Boop, click on it, and here we are. So this is the basic window. When you come in, this is what it looks like. This is what's happening. Um, so we're gonna go through some of the features here. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about the general features of the server, and then in the next video, we're gonna go into more depth. So first thing we have, we have overview. Overview here shows you what's happening right now. If you have tracks playing, the tracks will be displayed right here. Um, and any other information, usually it's just the track. So current track playing, there's nothing playing. The next menu we have is we have the quick links. Now, 
this is where you get the information of how to make basically your 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 station work whether you're using windows uh, media player to to send what should say windows amp to 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 transmit or you're using in the mac you're using a nice cast this is where you get the information this is where you need the information now it can be a little tricky and a little confusing so i'm going to try to make it um as simple as possible all these links you have here if i click on this link it will show my stream page and it'll show you what it looks like when people go to my page to see my what i'm playing and it's just a basic simple link you know if i hit play on here if something you know, would have some music playing the music would play right there and you could see it but there's nothing playing so we're going to go back again we're going to i'm going to go through all the menus here so these are the links that you could submit to different um uh services so you know you got the the real player link that you got a quick time link and all these links basically assures that your link and your your stream plays at any platform no matter what it is whether it's window whether it's mac whether it's android whatever now here we have the live connections um, information. Now, there's two versions, right? They give you the, the capability of running an auto DJ, meaning if you're not live, you can still have music playing in the background automatically all the time until you go live, which is really cool. So here, here are the two options. When auto DJ is playing, you have this mount, mount um, point, and I'm going to show you how that works later on um when auto dj is not playing then you have the second mount point again i'm going to show you how that works now you have two ways to upload music to this server you either use a pdf which is the easiest way or you could use the internal um uploading software which is built into the server i'm going to show you how that works as well on the bottom here we have the user's manual it's a very very crude user's manual it doesn't give you a lot of information it's sort of like it's just a straightforward manual this is mostly uh, made for people who already kind of know what they want to do in their station and they have used the software before. So that's why I'm trying to make these videos so you guys could get started. All right, let's go to the next menu here. Configurations. These are your settings. The settings. So basically, you have your stream name here. You could change it. You can make whatever the stream name that you want. You put it on there. Next thing, you have your email. Organization, you know, DJ Snuffleup or whatever it's called. Um, your website URL, that's not necessarily to put in there, but you can put it in there. It's not going to make a difference. It's not going to change anything. This is more like a, a static, as, uh, you know, to, for you to see it. Um, next thing you know, you, next thing you have here is you have your source password and then you have your administrative password. Those passwords are very important and I'll tell you later why, but generally the source password is the password you use to transmit, to go live, to, you know, to connect your computer to the internet to your server to go live the next password the administrative password is for the for the dashboard for you to log into your dashboard again you could change all these you know you click on here it shows you the password you could change it to whatever you want um next thing we have is the auto dj so now you have um the auto dj is i think one of the best parts of this software which means basically you could have music playing in the background when you're not live so let's say you only play your show every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. But um, you want to make sure that if people come back to hear your podcast, your radio show, your radio station, your music, you always want to have something playing in the background. This is where you would do it. So you will activate it. This doesn't come activated automatically when you log in. You have to do this manually in order for this to work. So you would just go in here and you say it enable. You could put, if you want the song title names, you also you could enable that. And if you have a genre that you want to say that, this is uh, what it is. I don't know. Uh, Spanish rock. Whatever. You know. Um, and then you just hit up. The Next thing we have, we have widgets. So, um, again, widgets um, are what you put on your website, on your web page, wherever you want to um, show your radio station. Again, you can go in here and it will give you a whole bunch of information. We're not going to go into it. You know, that's a, you know... A little more complex but we, we don't need to that right now let's just get through the menus here files now you can have an introductory file um, for you to play when the person um, comes into your radio station at the beginning so let's say you're doing you're doing a some sort of a contest um, and you want people to know about your contest when they log in or when they you know they go into the radio station um, so what you would do is you could add an introductory file let's say you know don't forget to subscribe to our emailing list to win tickets to go see this concert. You can make that file come up every time a person logs in for the first time, but it won't do it um, 
it, w it won't keep doing it throughout the through through the recording. It will just do it the first time in the live game, which is kind of cool. You can also have a fallback file in case. For whatever reason your station is off the air you could have an you know like a file saying you know um right now we're experiencing difficulties come back later blah 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 so people know that you that you know that you know there's something wrong and you're trying to fix it again album ids all this stuff is already automatically set up um it'll get if you play music and the music is available on itunes it will show the album id on the app which is kind of cool so that's that. Uh, metadata, if you need to put that in. Server overrides. Now this gets a little more, you know, complex back here. Only touch the stuff if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, just leave it alone because you don't need to change any of that. Um, again, we'll go back to the widgets. So these are the widgets that you could add to your website. You could copy this code, put it on your website, and then music will come up and the uh, DJ playing will come up. Again, you could go through this, read it. In the manual, you could have all this information. It'll tell you more in depth. I'm not gonna go into that because I don't think that's really uh, you know that that important right now. DJs, this is kind of cool. So let's say you have a radio station and you have three DJs, maybe one in LA, one in Chicago, one in New York, and they all have their different slots that you want to give them. You could actually set up different accounts for each DJ so they could come in at whatever time you assign to log in, and they could basically interrupt the uh, pre-recorded messages or pre-recorded music and they could go live very cool you create a DJ account right here very simple very simple username password pa you know uh, you know real name if you want to put that enable disable they could start stop stream um, stop the DJ so if you you could give them as much access as you want to give them um, you know you obviously you depend on, on what you want to do to the person you know what kind of information you want to give to the person um, Next, we have statistic reports. Again, it will tell you how much, oh, anything you need to know, who's listening from where, or what time they're listening, how long are they listening for, all the stats are on this page here. Um, now, let's go into the server. So, the server, when you get it, when you get your server, it's off, it's, you know, blank. You can hit start server, but look what happens when you hit start server now, because I activated the auto DJ. You hit start server. You're gonna get an error. Stream cannot be started. Unable to prepare a playlist um, because we haven't created any playlist. So before you can start your server, you gotta create a playlist. And we're gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna show you how easy that is. So you're gonna go into files, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add any music to your server via this um, dashboard. So we're gonna go to upload, and select files and i'm just going to do a quick search for that mp3 hopefully i could find some royalty free music on here that i have so i found three songs and i upload them and hopefully i think these are youtube songs so hopefully i won't get a hit on, on this video and they'll take my sound off but i think these are all royalty free music from um youtube so i'll be able to use them and i could play so i can show you guys how this works so now all the files have been uploaded and we're gonna go back. And there they are, my three files. So the next thing you do is you return. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to your playlists and you wanna add these songs to your playlist. So you will go to um, um, launch media library here. And here are my songs. So I have the two songs here or three songs here, and I could just drag them into whatever playlist I want. In this case, I'm just gonna use the standard playlist. Now you have actually five playlists that you could use. You could you know, basically program them if you wanna have a heavy rotation or you wanna have a light rotation or a light or a standard rotation. So I'm just gonna put them in the standard rotation. Just drag and drop and that's it. I mean, that's all you need to do. There's nothing else to it. Nothing else, you know, nothing fancy to it. Um, so once you do that, you hit go to return. And now if I were to click start server, now it's gonna start because there's already a playlist activated in my um, server. So it's this is as simple as it gets. So we go to start server and you'll see that these three little logos will change in a little bit after it loads the first music. And as you can see, it says stream started successfully. So if I hit return on here, those little three logos should turn into green in a second and they're gonna be blinking for a little while until it starts playing. 
So as you can see, all the three um, <clears throat> servers, I mean, uh, all the three check marks are on, which one is for music, one is for sound, and one is for transmitting. So all the three checks are on and it's ready, it's transmitting. Now this is live on the internet, and if you go to my server address, you will be able to hear this right now. So I can actually hit play here because it does have a little um, uh, play button here that you could do, and you could just hit play, and there it is. So all those songs that I added to that playlist will be playing right now. Now, like I said before, if you go to my page that I created um, to listen to it, which is right here, and I just refresh it, you'll see that uh, it'll go from this, this little red light. I could just hit play here, and there it is. So it's playing live. Now it's live. Um, you can also, on this page, as, as you notice, it says request song. You could actually have it so you could request song to the station, but somebody has to be monitoring that in order for you to play the song. It doesn't always work the way it's supposed to work, but it is an option there. So we'll go back to the server now. So back on this window here again. So you have the auto DJ playing now live, and I'm gonna hit play right here. And I can actually either pause it or stop it all together right from this window, you know? So that's kind of cool. And if, you know, for whatever reason you have to do that, that's an option. So I think that's all for this video. I'm gonna try to make these videos, you know, just, I'm trying to give you as much information as I can in a, in a small amount of time so you could get started. But this is how you start your server the first time. This is how you add music. This is how you get your auto DJ playing. And this is how you get the settings all done. Um, so come back. For the next video which i'm going to be calling part two and we're going to go into part two we're going to be talking about how do you go live on your station while your auto dj is live online um so guys i hope this little review or this little tutorial of the centova cast uh the heights hosting networks um radio station um server how it works helps you guys out let me know if you have any questions i'll be happy to help you with that so that's my little tutorial of the centova cast the heights networks um radio station software and how it works and i'm going to show you in the next video i'm going to show you how to um transmit in live software to start working right away um you know by just clicking start live and then it will interrupt the auto dj and it will make sure that you go live i'm going to try to set up a little microphone so i can show you guys how that works but it's very simple again not rocket science anybody who wants to start a radio station is now possible and it's very easy and if you guys have any questions any uh, you know any I, concerns i'm going to try to help you out just leave it in the description in the comments and we'll go from there guys thanks for watching don't forget to um, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share. You've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. Find me on Instagram, Los Granos. Find me on Twitter, Los Granos. Find me on Facebook, Los Granos. Find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time in the next tutorial. Peace.